Well, the search continues for a 30 year old South Windsor mom who went missing early last week. And we're getting straight out to Fox 61's Lauren Zinzi. She's joining us live from the South Windsor Police Department with the latest on the search for her. Well, Tim and Erica, the search is still on for 30 year old Jessica Edwards. She is a mother to a seven month old boy. Her family, friends, even strangers and also Connecticut State Police and local police departments are still looking for her after it's been over a week since she went missing. Take a look at these photos on your screen. Police are asking for the community's help in finding Jessica. Friends, family and strangers have been searching South Windsor, Manchester, East Hartford and surrounding towns over the past week with no luck just yet. On Friday night, Connecticut State Police and South Windsor Police were at Cinnamon Springs condo complex into the early morning on Saturday, searching the cars of Jessica Edwards and her husband, as well as their home. Edwards was reported missing on Monday, her husband telling police she often carpools with classmates when going to clinicals and was last seen leaving with someone who was not known to him. We had a chance to talk with friends and family of Jessica during their search on Friday. We are not going to stop looking for Jessica. We're going to continue to apply pressure. This lady didn't just disappear. So we need to know where she is, if she's okay. If you see something, say something. Just don't let it... Don't see something and just think, you know what, it could be nothing. It, it could be something. So just call that number. Call South Windsor Police. Call any police department and just report that because we need her home. And just like Jessica's sister just said, if you see something, say something, which is exactly what Connecticut State Police and South Windsor Police are also saying. If you have any idea of the whereabouts of Jessica Edwards, they are encouraging you to reach out to South Windsor Police or the Connecticut State Police. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with the latest information on this, both on air and online. We're live in South Windsor this morning. Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News. Back to you.